What's up guys, it's Dalmatter here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to another Midnight's Edge video. So this one we've got Star Wars the Acolyte transitions the force into becoming female and possibly gay. Uh, so I think that, is this the new Star Wars series? I haven't really kept up to date on the Star Wars stuff. Um, I, I know there's a new series that just came out. I'm guessing it's this one. I heard it's not very popular, which seems to be a trend with most of the new Star Wars stuff and most of the new Marvel stuff as well. Uh, the, you know, it's it's honestly seems rare when something is popular. But anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. This video, we addressed a claim that something was going to destroy Star Wars forever in the third episode of The Acolyte. But we didn't at the time have any further details of what. Now we do, so let's get into it. This comes to us from WDW Pro and the excellent write-up from John F. Trent over at that park place. Rumor, Leslie Headland's Star Wars The Acolyte will change the Force into being a female entity. And that headline kind of says it all. Wait, an entity? So they're, they're undoing the Metachlorians thing? Doesn't it? Like the t-shirts in that vital image of Kathleen Kennedy and her preferred people are suggesting the Force truly is female now. You know what I find funny about all these, like, people that, like, try to be diversity people? It's always just white women, right? You look at, like, the board of, like, any of these places that's pushing diversity quotas, it's almost always just pure white women. The story proper reads, A new rumor claims that Leslie Headland's upcoming Star Wars The Acolyte series will change the Force into being a female entity. This rumor comes from Scooper WDW Pro, who detailed in a recent video upload. According to a source that I have, Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland are going to do something in the Acolyte that is going to essentially end what remaining fans they have. And that is, they're literally going to change the Force, the Force itself, into being literally female, gender female Force. I'm halfway surprised they didn't go all out and make it lesbian to boot. I'm honestly surprised I'm willing to do this just because there's a dark side of the force. I wonder if the dark side is going to be male. I would honestly not put it past them. Though I guess they still might do that, because we only know so much. This scoop isn't that detailed. But according to it, the force is now explicitly female which is a Kennedy invention, and one not at all in keeping with the intention of George Lucas. Jumping a bit forward in the story, this rumor comes in the wake of George Lucas informing a crowd at the Cannes Film Festival that the Walt Disney Company and current Lucasfilm leadership does not understand Star Wars nor The Force. He said, I was the one who really knew what Star Wars was, who actually knew this world, because there's a lot to it. The Force, for example, Nobody understood the Force. Lucas added, When they started other ones after I sold the company, a lot of the ideas that were in the original sort of got lost. But that's the way it is. You give it up, you give it up. Well, you probably shouldn't have given it up then, George. Or if you really had to, you should have found a better custodian for it than Kathleen Kennedy. Who I mean, he just wanted to make money, obviously, right? He could have continued to own it himself and probably made hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars off of it. Now has proven beyond a shred of doubt that she is an inept producer unless she's carrying out the will of either George Lucas or Steven Spielberg. And she's an ideologue to boot. And I gotta say, this whole decision to make the Force explicitly female seems ideologically driven more than anything else. Oh, 100%. And I don't think they really thought it through. So if the Force is female, does that mean that there is some other force in nature that the Force can mate with in order to produce baby forces? <laughs> because whenever something in nature is divided into male or female, procreation does seem to be the driving force behind it. No pun intended. But we can carry on with the game that Kathleen Kennedy is playing here. Like for instance, gravity. Is that male? Or perhaps electromagnetism? Is that another sister force? Do you all hear how incredibly stupid this is? Alas, WD. The thing is that they, they view this like religiously, right? So it's kind of like saying, um, when the, you know, the people that say like God is a woman, right? It, it's the same type of thing as that. Um, you know, it's. 
it, it, it's like an ideological, like pseudo-religious concept. W Pro isn't the only one saying this. Alan Ng of Film Threat fame has seen the first four episodes and implies that this is indeed how it's going to go. And star Amanda Stenberg warned of this already as well. Going back to the story, interestingly, this rumor comes in the wake of actress Amanda Stenberg informing Empire that the show would be performing an exploration of the Force. She said, I understood that it was an exploration of the light and dark parts of ourselves and the rules in the galaxy around how the Force can be used, which was insane to experience that. Later in the interview, she was also asked about how the light side and dark side dynamic works for her character, May, with the Empire spent devastating. I'm getting she's more towards the dark side. Stenberg responded, I think it's a lot more complicated than that, which is the point of the show. Hopefully, if we did our job right, yeah, fat chance of that happening, the <laughs> show makes it an interesting interrogation into what it means to be on the light side or the dark side. Yeah, that's- Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna undermine the entire concept of good and evil, aren't they? Why do they do that in, like, every film? Everything has to... Uh, that's, like, one of the most irritating things you see in film now is, like, no, the bad guys are actually the good guys, you see, because they're fighting the patriarchy. Sounds nice and subversive right there. Yeah. Returning to Alan Ng, he doesn't see how Star Wars can move forward from here. When asked if the backlash will be worse than The Last Jedi, he declared, I think so. For us pre-Disney Star Wars fans, I don't know how we could accept this as Star Wars and move forward with it. And personally, I do not think there exists any other Star Wars fans than the pre-Disney Star Wars fans. The only post-Disney Star Wars fans I see are either paid chills or bots. That aside, WDW Pro Source is of the same mindset. On that, the article reads, Later in the video, Pro detailed. The source who has relayed to me some stuff, they believe this will be so bad that there's nothing left to do except reboot Star Wars. They think Kathleen Kennedy cannot continue or Star Wars cannot. To me, it seems obvious that both are true. Kathleen Kennedy cannot continue and neither can this whole iteration of Star Wars. No reason to throw the baby out with the bathwater, though. Star Wars can never be brought back by any kind of remake. The only way forward in my book is a retcon. I mean, the first thing Disney did when- 100%, you have, to, you have to get rid of all the new stuff. Uh, or the, major <coughs> the majority of the new stuff, because the, the problem is this ideology is like so seeped into absolutely everything that they've produced over the past, like, I guess nearly a decade at this point that y you you really have no other option other than to get rid of it or pretend it doesn't exist, um, which I don't really know how they could pretend it doesn't exist if they continue in that timeline, universe, whatever you want to call it. They took over was declared the whole extended universe as non-canon. They got a sharpie, wrote legends on a dumpster, and then threw it all in it. That's the simple solution here. Everything Disney did has to go. I mean, I initially wanted to keep the first two seasons of The Mandalorian myself, but after Favreau admitted that he based Boba Fett on not just Godfather in his old and mellow days, but on a Patton Oswalt skit as well, I'm ready to let go. If it was done under Disney, trash it all. It's fine, there's no shame in it. They're even doing that over at The Exorcist right now as we speak. Remember that there was a new Exorcist radical new take. Oh god. Movie a few months back called Exorcist Believer? Did you see it? If you didn't, it's fine, because they not only just scrapped the planned sequel for it, they're also wiping that whole movie out of canon to be replaced by another movie. The previous one still happened, it's just this most recent one which now no longer exists. Star Wars needs to follow that example. Everything Kathleen Kennedy has ever done in Star Wars was building towards this, making the Force female, and probably lesbian to boot, because... 
put a chick in it, make her gay! <laughs> and if Disney allows her to have her way in some misguided virtue signal, they just flushed their 4.05 billion investment down the drain. Unless they admit defeat and retcon away every... The thing is, they probably already made their money back. Like, the, 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 the recent trilogy has sold, like, so, sold really well, especially the first one when it came out, A New Hope or whatever it was. No, it wasn't A New Hope. What was the new... Um, uh, new Hope's one of the old ones. Well, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, I can't remember what the whatever Star Wars Seven was actually did really well in the box office. Like they made, I, I'm I think around a billion dollars profit off of that. Um, and then the, the the two subsequent films, you've had all the Disney Plus stuff. Like they probably already made their money back. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, so like they, they can easily fucking, you know, and still have made a profit. Killed the franchise, but made a profit. Everything they've done with Star Wars so far. Ironically, what may help them here, and what makes sure, the sure. actual retcon all the easier, is that in the bigger scheme of things, no one is going to be watching this. Just like both Ahsoka and Andor already proved, the audience have had it with Kennedy's DEI propaganda, and they've stayed away from all recent Lucasfilm productions, as I have no doubt they will do here as well. So, to riff on the old saying, if Kennedy makes the Force female, but no one saw her making it female, is the Force really female? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on this and how excited you are for the Acolyte in the comments. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna watch it. I can't even tell you the last Star Wars thing I watched. Probably it would have been the seventh movie, which I didn't think was that good. But to be fair, I've never been a big Star Wars fan. I like the games, especially the the original Battlefront games were so good. Um, but yeah, I've never been the biggest Star Wars fan. I always kind of thought, I'm going to be honest, kind of thought it was an overrated series. I know that's like sacrilege, especially when you talk about the original trilogy. But um, yeah, I've never been the biggest Star Wars fan to begin with. So for me, it's not really a big deal. But the the general trend that applies to the rest of the you know the movie and the gaming industry is what's worrisome. It's, you know, this, this particular one isn't exactly, you know, uh, my thing, but it's, it's, worrisome and bothersome because this is something that is pervasive in the entire industry not just star wars but hopefully it ends up coming back i don't know I, I part of me believes that you know this will be fixed you know they'll lose enough money that eventually they'll do the right thing but then the other part of me is like nah they've lost so much money already on so many of these things and they seem to just double down and don't care it seems like ideology is far more important than, to them than money. Uh, but how long can you keep that up, right? Like, I, I know Disney is one of the largest companies in the world, but you, you keep losing money over and over and over and over again. And eventually, you're, uh, you know, you're going to go bankrupt. Maybe that's the only thing that can fix it. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.